It's nearly spring, and the harp seals have migrated south from their Arctic waters to the east coast of Canada in the Gulf of St. Lawrence to give birth to their pups. And there, the hunters wait. Canada's commercial seal hunt is the largest slaughter of a marine mammal anywhere in the world. Since 1996, three and a half million seal pups have been killed. And for what? Their fur. Fur sneakers, boots, purses, iPad covers, ridiculous knickknacks that no one really needs. And what most people don't know is that most of the meat is wasted. 90% of the meat is either thrown overboard or left on the ice to rot. And it's not as though the commercial seal hunt even provides real jobs. We're talking about part-time employment, a couple of weeks a year for a few hundred individuals. And the world doesn't want dead seals. Already 35 countries have banned the import of seal products. And yet the Canadian government continues to financially support this hunt in the hopes that it can convince someone somewhere that they need to buy seal products. Since the 1990s, they've invested tens of millions of dollars to try to develop new products made from seals. They've tried everything, from seal pepperoni and pot pie to seal penis energy drinks. They've turned seals into biodiesel and paint. They've even fed seals to chickens and pigs, and every attempt has been a complete failure. Canada's commercial seal hunt is not about Inuit. The Inuit seal hunt is primarily a hunt for meat, with sales of the skins as a secondary activity. Most of the animal is used. The hunt takes place in the Arctic, and they hunt adult animals all year round. Canada's commercial seal hunt, on the other hand, takes place on the east coast of Newfoundland and Labrador. It's a highly competitive activity, with as many seals as possible killed in a few short weeks. It's extremely wasteful, and only the pelts are used. Almost all of the seals killed in the commercial seal hunt are between three weeks and three months of age. Canadians know that climate change is real, and so do harp seals. Seals need sea ice to give birth and nurse their pups. But ice is becoming scarce, and in poor ice years, more pups will die. The combination of bad ice and hunting can be devastating to harp seals. In some years, it's thought that no pups survived. It's time for the government of Canada to bring an end to this cruel, unnecessary, and wasteful seal slaughter. The cost of monitoring the hunt alone is five times more than what it brings into the economy. And that's not even counting the tens of millions of dollars that federal and provincial governments put into trying to keep this dying industry alive. No one needs seal products, and Canada doesn't need a commercial seal hunt. Please visit ifaw.org seals and tell Prime Minister Justin Trudeau that it's time for the seal hunt to end. Ask him to help sealers transition out of this dying industry with a licensed buyout and to provide real support for Atlantic Canadian communities. The commercial seal hunt is a centuries-old practice, but with your help, we can end it in our lifetime. <laughs>